Hello hackers, uh, welcome to Hacker Associate, welcome back to the channel. In this section we are going to learn about Azure Round and this particular video I'm going to record in two uh, basically part. The part number one I'm going to focus on installation step like how to set up Azure Round okay, in different platform. That is very very important otherwise how we are going to collect the data. So in the part number one we will be learning like how to set up okay, in Mac, Windows, Linux and so on. In the part number two, I'm going to focus on advanced user like uh, MFA user, how to handle and how to collect the data. Maybe if you authenticate as in multi-vector authentication. In that case, how to collect the data. So there are two different scenario. So we'll take these two particular in it. We'll go to discuss okay, in two uh, particular video. Okay, this, this particular scenarios. Okay, so part number one, we'll be discussing okay, like the user, we don't have a MFA. In that case, how to collect the data. And part number two, we will discuss like if user authenticate as an MFA, then how to collect the data so i hope you got an idea you got a clarity on what exactly we are going to do okay in this part number one and part number two i am harshad founder and ceo hacker associate i'm a black hat guy and you can basically follow my all my community for a daily based content so i'm sharing uh, payloads okay like material technologies and many other things or we can say technological hack i'm sharing a lot of things okay on my on my particular community Please go ahead and you can check this particular community and then you can download the resources. Apart from this, I have also a black hat channel which you basically you find okay on Discord. So if you didn't join Discord yet, please go and join the Discord community. So here is basically my profile. You can join okay like this uh, recent community I created okay on Twitter, Offensive Hacking Black Hat. Please join this community. Apart from this, okay like you can follow me on LinkedIn and we have a page here, uh, Hacker Associate. Please follow here. Almost 100k plus people have joined our community and if you need if you want to learn okay like a daily basis then this particular community and the pages will help you a lot so now stick to the topic let's go ahead and then start our topic so i'm going to the browser and you can see here is a google okay and let me search azure round let me show you how you can set up the azure round so there are two ways okay to set up the azure round number one uh, you can use a go and you can build the particular binary so you can clearly see that okay here like first you can git clone okay from here and then run this command here is a command okay for setting up the azure round okay this is the first step number two which is basically i am using it and that is very easy that is you can use this part release section so when you click here release section and you will find okay like different different platforms binaries so you can see azure round linux AMD 64, ARM and all this. So I am using Apple M1 machine. So in that case, I need to download ARM. In your case, you can check your architecture and download the binary accordingly. If you're using a Windows machine, it's very straightforward. You can simply click here and download Windows AMD. Okay, it is working completely fine. There will be no issue at all. I have already tested okay in, in Apple M1 uh, Windows machine. So you can see this is basically my uh, setup parallel desktop and here i'm using okay windows 11 i'm using so there is no issue in arm there is no issue at all so you can directly download and you can simply run as a binary i'm going to show you how we can do that so you can open your terminal here is my terminal you can see so let me uh, zoom little bit and make a full screen okay so here if i go to the desktop and here if i just go to the azure attack and you can see there are two uh, different binaries i have downloaded one is for windows second is for mac so we are using a mac so we'll be going to run okay from mac and here is basically the binary how to run this binary you simple use azure round but before this just give a permission like ch mode plus x okay and this azure round that's it this is the first part okay you need to do that okay in second case you can simple test type okay like simple sudo dot slash azure round and you are done and just enter the system password okay and here you can clearly see that okay um, we'll be able to see all the option like completion configure help listen start so you can see our azure round is set up completely okay in our mac system right so now next part is okay like how to collect the data so the part number two for this particular video okay so we need to go here to our portal so first okay you need a microsoft portal or we can say azure portal you can log in portal.azure.com you can go here and check it out okay like what exactly settings and active directory and so on so if you simple click on this area you can see here this is the setting and you can see in my case i have 
ad default directory hex icon these are basically my active directories right so i need to focus on this tenant we can say this is called tenant otherwise you can simply click here and go here microsoft enter id and here we will find okay like microsoft enter id free this is the hex icon so i have many active directory one is basically premium p1 p2 likewise you can see the terminologies there okay in azure so i am going to uh, you know give you a very uh, simple example i am taking a you know simple you can see it's completely free you can easily set up a domain okay on this particular platform and you can take that tenant that is called hacksecond.com in my case okay so we require definitely tenant and here is the basically uh, the command we are going to use called list azure objects so you need okay like uh, one credential so you can simply go here in this section called users and you will find a couple of users available here you can see here are the users right global admin and all this ocpt user like ofnc cloud penetration testing user and so on and this is basically on prem section so in this case how we can run it okay so simple you can use azure round and simple just type here list and then minus h and you can see clearly here also we have more option now enable right when you simple use list so in this case how we can run this part like how to collect the data with the help of one particular credential right so we need one credential in order to collect the data and then okay we need our kali machine to analyze the data so let me start the kali machine as well so here is the kali machine okay so i hope you got an idea is very easy first we only set up a azure round now i'm going to teach how to collect the data okay using the particular uh, user credentials okay and then okay we'll put okay in the blood down and look for the attack path that exactly i'm going to cover okay in the second part of the video like how to read the path and based on this how we can exploit it further and i have a very uh, you know uh, advanced program on cloud penetration testing the name is ofnc cloud penetration testing you can please check the module and master your cloud security with me okay so now we need to go further here so azure round list and then we need to enter the username so in my case it is basically list prev user at the rate uh, this is basically my tenant okay or we can say the domain i need a password so i need to enter the password just give me a minute let me copy the password from my sublime okay so here is a password now once you enter the password uh, we need to also set couple of option like minus minus tenant okay so my tenant is hexsecond.com uh, this is basically my tenant and you need a output so example let's say uh, hacking azure.json so we need a json uh, data so we can easily import okay in the blood down so remember each and every information in with the double quotes so you can add double quotes okay in the password section you can add double quotes okay here in the user section so as i mentioned to you okay like this is not a mfa user okay so directly you can able to collect the data but in the case of mfa the steps are different that exactly i'm going to cover okay in the part number 2 so let's hit enter and you can see clearly it is started and you can see able to collect the data perfect and you can see it collected the data you can avoid this error completely okay it's completely fine not a problem at all so don't frighten okay with error error is part of the training okay if error come we need to resolve we need to check the issue but in this case okay like you can skip that part it's not a problem at all but we need a data you can see the data is here there is called hacking azure dot json the same way i already taken a data called output dot json the same technique same command so i'm going to show you here uh, through my evernote you can see Uh, i am using same thing okay in, in um, windows so if you are using a windows machine the same command and you can see is working completely fine there will be no issue at all after that you can simple go to that kali machine just like that and you can simple start your blood down and then collect the data accordingly okay so in my case i am opening a terminal and just type here sudo uh, neo4j start okay next you can open a terminator in the second work space i'm going to start okay like blur down you can see blur down and then enter and here you can see clearly it is working fine and here you can see right so you can simply upload the data from here so if you can see in my case like i have many data i'll go to the home i can go to the desktop 
uh, other location uh, computer and to go home uh, the account desktop and i have actually blood down data this is blood on ad attacks and you can see this is azure round data so you can see this easily uh, like i have already taken a data this called list privilege json and this one right you can simply select this one and you can simply open it up and you can see it is uploading right so same way whatever we have taken right in this section the file output.json the same way okay you can transfer this file and you can simple analyze it so now if you simple go here in this particular search mode and simple just type here azure and you will see that what exactly is going to come you can see there are many many things is coming here right so if i just simple search okay like my uh, directory you can see it's coming default directory so when you simple click on default directory and here you can see there are many many uh, things are here okay inside this directory so this exactly i'm going to cover okay in the part number 2 how to analyze this particular data and many other thing okay i hope you like the video and wait for the video number 2 okay for advanced part for mfa user how to handle it and how to analyze the data so everything okay going to cover okay in a very detailed manner okay in the coming section and don't forget to follow this particular channels okay that will motivate us to record a video like that i hope this video is interesting for you and if you have any issue please write in the comment section i'm monitoring the comments and then if you have any issue just let me know thank you have a great day see you in the next video